morning dear students how are you i hope you are safe and fine at your home and you are feeling very enthusiastic right so the topic that we are going to do today is vitamins so before going to start i would like to ask you a lot of questions my first question is you eat a lot of fruits fruit content juices and have you eat seasonal fruits like mango very tasty like you know guava like papaya like banana so why you eat this fruits this fruits give us vitamins right okay next question is why you eat green vegetables whenever we eat green vegetables we uh, get a sense of you know we feeling fresh and we think that green vegetables will be good for our health and whenever there is a fast we used to have some you know fruits some salad like things you know like fruit salad or something we used to have a juices right so why we taking all these things because as in when we take this fruits vegetables you no know, different this green vegetables or fruits juice we feel very fresh so today we are going to learn about the new topic that is vitamins so now let us come in the ocean of physical education and i'm going to tell you what is exactly this vitamins are so vitamins are made up of carbs these are made up of carbs right vitamins is a kind of micronutrient see i told you for this balanced diet so balanced diet it means a diet that consists of macronutrients as well as micronutrients right so vitamin is micronutrient what is vitamin it is a micronutrient so it may be a question in a board exam that which kind of nutrient vitamin is so vitamin is a micronutrient right what is this nutrient this nutrient is a micronutrient micronutrients are those nutrient which are required a small amount in our body right these are the complex compound right the structure of vitamins are complex what it, so vitamins are the micronutrients these are required in a small amount and they are the complex compound of our so what is vitamins vitamins are the micro nutrients they are the complex compound of carbon and they are required in very small amount they are essential for the normal working of body see it requires a small proportion but it perform a very important part very crucial part in our body and these are very important for the normal working of the body for the normal functioning of the body it is required a small amount and it is important for the constituent of food so it is a most important proportion it is a most important constituent it's a vital component of our food and they are important for the metabolism right so vitamins help to meta metabolism of fat vitamin also helps in the metabolism of carbohydrate right what is fat fats the fatty acid right and what is carbohydrate simple sugar glucose fructose lactose maltose right so vitamins are the micro elements micro nutrients which are required in small quantity they are the complex compound of carbon they are important for the normal functioning and growth of the body they are also important for the metabolism of carbohydrates and fats got it now let's come on the next point that is they do not provide energy so vitamins do not provide energy they do not give energy but they help to repair they help to replace the tissues the bones the cut so due to some reason or due to accident if your body cut if there is an injury in your body so this vitamins will help you to replace maintain repair your body tissues what now what i have a question what is tissue tissue is a group of cells called tissue which perform this specific function right got it they are required very small quantity yes vitamins are required in very small quantity they lead to certain diseases known as deficiency so see when there is a lack of vitamins in our body there will be some deficiency of nutrients right so what exactly i want to say i want to say you guys that if vitamins lack in our diet it lead to certain diseases and these diseases are called deficiency diseases what is diseases are called these kind of diseases are called deficiency diseases so vitamins are very very important components it's generally found in juices it is found in fruits vegetables etc right so vitamins they need certain uh, if you are not taking vitamins in a proper proportion 
may lead to the you know some uh, deficiency disease right so but most uh, see so there are total 13 vitamin but uh, the important kinds of vitamins are vitamin A, D, E, K and B, C vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K so how many vitamins are important in our body? the important vitamins in the body are vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K got it? now the most important thing that I will tell you is most vitamins are obtained from food Right? So most of the vitamins are obtained from food except the vitamin D and K. So this vitamin D and K are not obtained from the food because this vitamin D and vitamin K are produced in our body. Right? So what it is? Most of the vitamins are produced, are taken from the food and vitamin D and K are produced in the body. Right? So let me tell you one important thing. See, Vitamins are of two types. What are the types of vitamins? Vitamins are of two types. That is, the first one is fat soluble vitamin, and second one is water soluble vitamin. Now, what is the meaning of fat soluble vitamin, and what's the meaning of this water soluble vitamin? When I am talking about fat soluble vitamin, so these are those vitamins which are soluble in fat, like vitamin A, vitamin B. Vitamin E and vitamin K are the example of fat soluble vitamin. Next is water soluble vitamin, right? So the example, what is exactly water soluble vitamin? So the nutrients which are soluble in water. Example is vitamin B. So there are a lot of things: vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, right? A lot of complex of vitamin B and vitamin B, uh, vitamin C. It is also called ascorbic acid, right? So vitamin is about today. Now let's come and we'll recapitulate what I said. We started today. So we had started that vitamins are the micronutrients. They are a complex compound of carbon. They are required in a small proportion, but they are very, very important, essential for the normal working of the body. They are required in a small amount and important for the metabolism of fat. Vitamins are also very, very important for the metabolism of carbohydrate. Got it? See, these vitamins do not provide energy, but this vitamin helps to repair, to replace, and the maintenance of various tissue in our body. Got it? Vitamins, if you know, these vitamins lay, if these vitamins lay in our body, they lead to various diseases like washing off like you know uh, line blindness you know the uh, uh, lack of WBC, RBC in the body so there are a whole lot of problems which may occur due to the lack of vitamins so the lack of when the uh, vitamins are lacking in our diet they lead to some deficiency disease right so whenever the uh, vitamins are lacking then the disease which are occurred is called deficiency disease right so they are there are total 13 vitamins how many vitamins are there there are total protein vitamins. Out of them, some important vitamins are vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K. Right? So, out of them, most of the vitamins are obtained from the food, right? Except vitamin D and vitamin K. This vitamin D and this vitamin K. These are the only vitamins which are produced in our body. Right? Now, what are the types of vitamins? So, the types of vitamins are vitamin fat soluble vitamins and second is water soluble vitamins what is this fat soluble vitamins so i am just going to tell you fat soluble vitamins are those vitamins which are soluble in fat water soluble vitamins are those vitamins which are soluble in water now what are the types of fat soluble vitamins vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C no not at all vitamin C vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K not B and C why I made this mistake? I made this mistake so that you can understand that vitamin B and C are the part of water soluble vitamin right? so what are the type of vitamin? Uh, fat soluble vitamin? A, D, E, K got it? second is water soluble vitamin so the example of water soluble vitamin is vitamin B and vitamin C see there are a lot of complex with vitamin B also like vitamin B1, vitamin B2 like this 
नेक्स्ट इज दिस आर विटामिन बी एंड विटामिन सी राइट विटामिन सी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मच कंसेप्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस विटामिन
green leaf, yellow, orange vegetables. Right? So let's come understand what first properly it is. Retinol. Is also vitamin A is also called retinol. The major function of vitamin A is vision, immunity, reproduction, and growth. Deficiency of vitamin A retinol is lead to night blindness. It means the person is not able to see in detail. It also leads to strong growth. It means the height of the individual is not increased due to the lack of this disease. If this nutrient is taken in more amount than needed to the body, it leads to bone fracture. It may lead to bone damage. It may lead to birth defect. Egg, milk, carrot, dark green leaves, orange, yellow vegetables. These are the good source if you want to build up the body to overcome this problems. Now the next kind of vitamin is vitamin D. Chlorocalcified, right? So this vitamin D that is called chlorocalcified is the major function of vitamin D is bone growth, right? See, bone uh, absorption of calcium and all the things will be there. So bone growth, maintenance of and maintenance of the bone and calcium absorption. So the main function of vitamin D that is calcium is the maintenance of the growth of the bones, maintenance of the bone and absorption of calcium in that. Right? Now, which disease lead to a lack of this vitamin D? So if vitamin D is lacking in your diet, a person may need to mutate. Right? Now I am going to tell you, I am making two diagrams here and you see and tell me what exactly these are. Right? Please focus here. So see the lag, see sometimes saw the lag of the people's. Let's say these are the lag of the person. Right? This is the lag of a person. And these knees strike each other, right? Knees strike each other. Why? Why these knees are striking each other? Because this problem is called knock knee. What is problem is called? Knock knee. And it is due to leakage. It means the capacity of the bones become low. So what is this? This is knock. Now the next diagram that I want to show you guys is also belongs to leakage. So I am telling you what are the defects that you have. Sometimes the legs, you know, there is a wide, there is a wide gap between the knees. No? Let's say these are legs. Sometimes there is a wide gap between this knee. What is this called? This is called bow legs. What is it called? It is called bow legs. And these deficiencies lead to your know, exercises because of this reason. So when there is a wide gap between the knees, it is opposite of knee or bow legs. Got it? I hope you understand this lesson. So rickets lead a lot of problems in the bones. It will actually the it brings rickets then to deformity in the bones, right? Next, what is the toxic effect? So the balance of calcium will be imbalanced, will be abnormal. This is the toxic effect of this. So if the vitamin D is more in your diet, then it leads to the imbalance or abnormal calcium in the body. Now what are the food sources of this? The food source of this vitamin D is sunlight, milk, egg, fish, butter, green vegetables. Got it? So what is vitamin? Vitamin D is called chlorocalcified. The major function of vitamin D is for growth of bones, maintenance of bone, you know, maintaining the structure of bone, growth of bones, calcium absorption in bones. To rickets, so I showed you two things that is knock knee and next is bow leg. What, what is the toxic effect of this bow leg or this leg kits or the deficiency consume of vitamin D? Calcium absorption in the bones will be imbalanced, right? And see, sometimes if I feel pain in the nerves, the whole body, so whenever. Then you may be uh, body weight, right? So the food source of vitamin D 
is supplied milk, egg, fish, butter, green vegetables. What it? Let's come on the next. That is the E. Vitamin E. That is tocophenol, right? T A C O P H E N O L. Tocophenol. So this what we are doing? We are studying vitamin E. What it? What we are studying? We are studying vitamin E. Vitamin E is act as an antioxidant in our body and it protects our cell membrane of the body. Right? What is this? Vitamin E is also called antioxidant. Protect our body, protect the cell membrane of our body. So the function of vitamin E is antioxidant and protect cell membrane. It also if this deficiency falls, right? If there is a deficiency of vitamin E, then it leads some neurological illness, it leads some RBC breakup, it leads some nerve damage in the body, right? So I hope you understand what I want to say. I want to say that it leads to neurological problem, it leads to RBC, right leg cell or right leg cell, right? Or other things we have to be scared, right? And there is a nerve breakage also. So keep in your mind that what is the deficiency effect? The deficiency effects are neurological illness, see uh, RBC, the PBC breakage, and nerve damage. This is the deficiency lead to the vitamin E. Now, what are the toxic effects? If you consume more vitamin E, it leads some infection in blood, and the clotting drug factors also affect it. Now, what are the uh, you know food sources for this? The food sources like sea grains, nuts, turmeric, healthy, etc. Right? So what are the examples of this? So food, uh, food grains, nuts, turmeric, etc. So vitamin C is also called phenol. It is an antioxidant, protect the cell membrane. It may lead to neurological illness. Our disease may neurological uh, imbalance and it's also a factor lead by this. Infection with blood, clotting drugs, right? And sea grains, nuts, are the example of are the food sources of this vitamin E. Now the next that is vitamin K. So this is the last five of the vitamin. Vitamin K. So vitamin K is you know uh, this vitamin K is also called phylloquinin. Ph five the level O can be by an right? And what is the major function of this? This help in the blood clotting. So it helps with some blood clotting factor. Oh, also. So blood, it helps in you know, deposition of plasma, platelet, etc. It leads to the blood clotting, heal of the wounds, and bone health to maintain the bone health also. If someone has this factor, you know, blood, if someone is having a, uh, there is a cut to the bone, and the blood will not stop due to some factor. The platelet is not deposited properly. Then there is a problem of hemorrhage. H E M O R R A G E. Hemorrhage is the deficiency disease due to this. The toxic effect of this vitamin K is not also yet. What are the food source? The food source are you know the cabbage family in the home or the green vegetables, leafy vegetables, soya bean, okay, cereals, etc. Now let's come. We are going to look at today. What we are studying about is fat soluble vitamins. So fat soluble vitamin first is A, that is also called retinol. The major function of retinol is vision, immunity, reproduction, growth. The deficiency is night blindness and stern growth. Toxic effect is bone puncture, fracture, liver damage, and birth defects. The food source of this is egg, milk, carrot, dark green leaves, yellow olive vegetables. Next, that I am going to make a majority is vitamin E, which is also called growth as a fight. The main function is bone growth, right? Maintenance of growth of bones and calcium absorption. The deficiency due to liquids, right? Many problems in liquids like not being in whole eggs, right? Toxic effect is calcium imbalance in the uh, body and the food sources are like milk, air, fish, butter, green, vegetables. Next is vitamin E, which is also called top of and all. It is an antioxidant, lead to some neurological problems, RBC breakage and nerve damage. The
toxic effect of vitamin E is infection in the blood and affect the protein factor too. What is the food source? So the food source is seed, grains, nuts, turmeric, turmeric, etc. Right? Next, the last one that is stated is for minor climbing. So this is the helpsing uh, protein factor and uh, healing wounds, bone health and tennis also. Hemoglobin is a deficiency with this lipidis. Toxic effect of this is bone fracture, liver damage, blood defect, etc. Right? Of this all I am telling, right? For especially vitamin K, which is not appropriate yet. And what the food source? The food source is cabbage, green vegetables, especially the leafy uh, vegetables, soya beans, cereals, etc. So this is about fat soluble vitamins. What is fat soluble vitamins? Vitamins which are soluble in fat are called fat soluble vitamins. Got it? Vitamin A is called retinol, D is called calci chlorocalcified, E is called tocophenol, and K is called phylloquine. Got it? I hope you understand all the concepts that the request, night blindness, stunt growth, neurological illness, hemorrhage when the blood clotting factor is affected. Now we are talking about the water soluble vitamins. Right? So let's see what this water soluble vitamins are. Right? Water soluble vitamins. What we have to learn? We have to learn water soluble Right? So what is this water soluble vitamins? So here I told you that this water soluble vitamins are the soluble vitamins which are soluble in water. And there are only two things that is soluble in uh, water. The vitamins that are soluble in water are vitamin B complex and vitamin C. See there are a lot of parts in vitamin B that is vitamin B1, B2, B3, B12, right? In our foods. And there is more a lot in another food, but it is not in our foods. So we need to focus on vitamin B1, B2, B3, B12. And the last one that is vitamin C. So B complex, vitamin B complex. What is this vitamin B1? Vitamin B1 is also called thymine. What is it called? It is also called thymine. What is the major function of vitamin B1? The major function of vitamin B1 is proper growth and development and the production of energy in the body. Right? So what is the function of vitamin B1? Let us first remember the name. Vitamin B1 is called thymine. The function of thymine is proper growth and development of the body. It also helps in the energy, metabolism, energy production, the metabolism of power head, which leads to reduce the metabolism of energy. Got it? So, what is the deficiency disease lead to vitamin B1? The deficiency disease lead to vitamin B1 is very, very, which is very, 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 right? So, this you can remember in a moment. So I was saying very, very, very right. So what is the deficiency disease of vitamin B1? The deficiency disease of vitamin B1 is very, very and lot of neurological problems. Neurological problems means problem related to sensation, uh, you know, stimulus, respond uh, to the stimulus, right? Next is uh, toxic effect of vitamin B1 is not reported uh, yet, but there may be some lot of things. So what are the food sources that we need to consume? We need to consume whole grains, enriched food products, protein, and rich food which is you know good of protein source. So protein and bodybuilding food is required. Bodybuilding food. Got it? Now, so understand what is this B1? B1 is for honey, it's helping the growth and development of the nutrition, it helps to to the metabolism of energy. The deficiency of this is very, 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 very neurological problems. The report is not reported in toxic effect right now. And the uh, food grain is, you know, whole grains, food, protein, vitamins, etc. Right? So now what is vitamin B is called? 
Vitamin B2 is also called riboflavin B. What is it called? It is also called riboflavin. Vitamin B2 is also called riboflavin. So vitamin B2 major function is energy metabolism and growth and development also. What is the major function of vitamin B2? The major function of vitamin B2 is energy metabolism. That will be carbohydrate metabolism. Gives energy and low and that is also the major concern of it. Now, what is the deficiency effect? What is the deficiency disease if one not taking vitamin B2 properly? So, there will be inflammation on the mouth, the skin, and the eyes, you know, leg, and all is generally uh, seen on a woman's pregnancy woman. And there may be, you know, uh, the sun glow that is the high when the high is top in the certain level and after the increase. Now the appropriate diet are toxic effect. Next is whole grains. Protein portion should be more. Protein should be more in this. Fine. So what is it? It is riso, riboflavin. So vitamin B2 is also called riboflavin. It helps in the energy production. It also helps in the, you know, metabolism of carbohydrate, inflammation, deficiency, into inflammation on the mouth, skin, and external growth. And the food product that is whole and grains enriched or makes food, etc. Next is niacin. What is this niacin? So, vitamin B3 is called niacin, and the major function of vitamin B is energy production, right? So, this energy metabolism, energy production, and the deficiency is due to pellagra. Now, what is this pellagra? Pellagra is a skin related disease, black patches on the skin, rashes on the skin, uh, you know, some fungal infections and all. So, pellagra is a you know, uh, disease which is due to the lack of niacin, that is vitamin B3, right? It leads to irritation and itching over the skin. See the, uh, the toxic effect of pellagra, that is due to the Absence of vitamin B3 niacin is damage of glucose tolerance. So one cannot be able to tolerate the lot of glucose in the body. Got it? So this is exactly what this niacin is about. That is vitamin B3, energy metabolism, pellagra, the toxic effect, damage of glucose tolerance, and protein rich food. Right? So one should go for the protein rich food, whole grain fibers, cereals, etc. for Okay. Next is vitamin B12. What is this vitamin B12? Vitamin B12 is called myelin. What is called? It is called Olba myelin. And the major function of this is help to make DNA. So, what do you know about DNA? See, DNA is a genetic material. It transfers from one parent to another. As we are, we know that we are the combination of our parent and our mother and father, right? So, it helps in the formation of DNA, that is the genetic material. Now, what is the full form of DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid. It may be the portion of your board exam, right? Deoxyribonucleic acid. In bacteria, it is ribonucleic acid. In complex organ like human, it is DNA, that is deoxyribonucleic acid. So, it helps in the formation of, you know, different cells, uh, genes, it helps in the formation of fragments of this uh, genes, and any. It also helps in the formation of so we can see that it helps in the formation of DNA. Got it? Next is what is the deficiency this is the need to go for? So it may lead to the permanent paralysis and anemia. Now what is this anemia? When are uh, you know anemia or sequel cell anemia? So when I'm saying about sequel cell anemia, it means the body takes the shape of sequel. The body takes the shape of sequel. Sequel is used in fields to cut the grains, right? So on that type of cells, when the red blood cell or the blood cell become sequel shape, this shape, this kind of shape, right? When the body cells get sequel shape, then we call it sequel cell anemia. And the toxic effect is not appropriate yet. What one should go if uh, they want to increase the vitamin B12 in their body, why should we eat meat, fish, egg, and you know the different products which helps them? Like, uh, one should go for fish, one should go for egg.
Got it? Now the last thing that is ascorbic acid. What is this ascorbic acid? Let's come. So before I am going to tell you what is ascorbic acid, I have a question. Have you ever feel pain in your teeth when you were little and now? Have you ever, you know, there is swelling or there is a blooding in your teeth? In you know, masura reason, like this enamel, okay? So whenever you feel something, you know, uh, that bloody, you know, something is blooding there or bleeding, it's maybe bleeding there, it's maybe painful. Sometime, you know, you, and when you were a little guy, there will be pain in your uh, tits, your whole tooth or something else in the enamel also. These problems lead to the deficiency of vitamin C. What is this vitamin C is called? This vitamin C is called ascorbic acid. What is it called? It is called ascorbic acid. Now what exactly is ascorbic acid? Ascorbic acid is an antioxidant. What is it? It is an antioxidant. It helps to boost the immunity. The deficiency is due to this vitamin D that is the ascorbic acid is ascorbic. So you keep in mind that any problem related to the teeth, the navel or the mouth which is of ascorbic acid, vitamin C and the deficiency in vitamin C is scurvy over if you consume it, it may lead to diarrhea and what are the food sources? All the salt that is the orange that is the khatte fruits which may be right? Lemon, orange, right? Juicy So fruits and vegetables should be consumed So now let's understand what we have started today we have started with the vitamin B complex, which is of four types: vitamin B1, B2, B3, B12. B1 is also called thymine, B2 is also called riboflavin, B3 is called AC, and B12 is called wine. And vitamin C is also called uh, ascorbic acid. Vitamin B1 leads to very, very the deficiency. The deficiency of vitamin B2, that is riboflavin, leads to inflammation of the skin, small growth. Vitamin B3 leads to pallidra. Vitamin B12 lead to the not uh, it's lead to the anemia, sickle cell anemia or something like that. Right? Now what is this ascorbic acid? This ascorbic acid lead to the scurvy. Now let's recapitulate quickly what exactly this is all. So let's have a recap, let's have a revision of it, what we started. We had started with the B complexes. Vitamin B is called thymine. Major function is growth and development and energy metabolism. Deficiencies with our very various neurological problems. Toxic effect is not reported. And the food source is whole ingredients and rich protein foods. Vitamin B2 is called riboflavin. It is helps in the energy production, metabolism of carbohydrate. Deficiency leads to inflammation, mouth and skin, and external growth too. Non reported is the toxic effect that we don't know about that. So, total uh, uh, good source is a protein food or uh, increase of both grains and all. Vitamin B3 is for niacin, it also helps in the energy production and the carbohydrate for metabolism. This the deficiency of vitamin 3 that is niacin is pellagra or irritation of the skin, black edges of the skin. It leads to the you know, damage the tolerance of the glucose. We should go for the protein rich diet and whole seed based foods, etc. Next is uh, vitamin B12 leading to the anemia and paralysis for the permanent damage of some mouth and permanent paralysis. It helps in making the DNA. The major function of vitamin B12 is the formation of DNA and so many genetic material functioning too. But we go for the meat, fish, egg, etc. for this. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid means all the soft foods like you know the lemon, the orange, and various foods, you know, uh, vegetables. So one should go for these all products. So ascorbic acid, the deficiency lead to scurvy. Scurvy is the enamel or tooth related problem. So one go for a regular brushing for that and maintaining the Right? So this is all about the fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. I hope you understand the concept of what is vitamin. What are the types of vitamin? Right? So there are two types of vitamin that is fat soluble vitamin which is A, D, E, K and water soluble vitamin which are vitamin B complex and C. Your homework is to make the chart of vitamins. And love. I hope you understand the whole.
professor learn this topic thoroughly and do it in order it's a five marks question of our board exam right i hope you understand both concept so with this thank you so much bye bye take care